So, just another quick video about how you can use Visual DJ to create karaoke tracks based on your audio tracks. Now, these karaoke tracks aren't going to be perfect. They're not going to be uh, comparable to the ones you can actually buy and use. So, uh, don't, uh, don't expect that, but I may help you in a pinch. So, uh, this is one way to do it. So, uh, of course, the first step I uh, have here is to uh, select an actual audio track that I want to use. I'm, I'm going to go with I Don't Care by Ed Sheeran. So, this track, which is just an audio track right now, and of course, it's that everybody kind of knows and loves, right? I'm at a party I don't want to be at. So that's kind of my baseline here. Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber, I don't care. So why do I do that? Well, the first step is to act, add some lyrics to it. So I right click it and I go into video editor to create a video version. That's actually going to be a karaoke version down the line. So like this. So uh, what can I do then? Well, the feature I want to use uh, in this situation is the overlay lyrics because it's karaoke, right? So when I do that, click that. I start a net search that's going to go grab a few suggestions to which lyrics you may want to use. Now, this is a hard step because these are just from the internet. They may be wrong. So if you're down the line, when you're done, figure, find out that there's like some spelling mistakes or they don't arrive at the exact right time, then you can go back in here and fix that in this little editor. But this looks pretty good, so let's just stick with that for now. The next thing you can do is you can work with the background over here because, as you can see, I have some lyrics that's clear, but it's hard to see because there's a lot of white here. And this image is taken from the Ed Sheeran number six album. There's a lot of white here, so that's probably a bad image. So let's see what else we can do. Well, we could put it in an overlay of a video. That may make an interesting karaoke track because that's something to look at, but it'll be harder with the text, right, with the text colors because because uh, the colors will vary in a video. So I think I want to use an image instead. So I go in here, and I already pre prepared a dark ed image. So I grab that. And now you can see, now it's much easier to see the actual lyrics down here. So go back to all the legacy lyrics here. And see, what else can I do? Well, you can change the font and the font size. You may want to do that, so you can uh, use the entire screen, the entire video uh, width, but I'm not sure about that yet because I don't know the longest sentence. So I'll just stick with it as it is. It's fine that the current one, the current line you're supposed to sing is yellow and everything else is white. That'll be fine. Uh, so I'll stick with that. The other thing you could do is you could change it into subtitles. I'm going to go into another place in the video here to actually see the subtitles changing. But I find that the, for karaoke, it's probably better to let people read ahead. So I think the flow up function is better. So now I'm stuck with this, so I have these all these lyrics, and I have Ed in the background, and a dark uh, image, so I can actually easily see the image. So let's save that to create the video file and see what we get. So I'm going to name it karaoke version, even though it's not exactly a karaoke version yet, and I'm going to save it. And now I get this video file. And as you can see down here, I also get this karaoke version file. What I would do would probably to put that into another uh, another virtual folder so that I can find these karaoke versions. So I'll just grab it and put it into this one called Converter to Karaoke, even though it's not really a karaoke track yet. So uh, I'll do that, and now I have it in here. I don't care. Uh, the karaoke version, as it says, in remix. So let's try and play it and see what happens. Party, I don't wanna be at, and I don't ever wear a suit and tie. I wondering if I can sneak up the back. Nobody's even looking me in my eyes. That actually looks pretty good, right? It's it's it, you can see everything, you can read it, and it switches at the correct time and all that kind of stuff. So that's nice. And this is a place where you probably need to listen all the way through, see that you can see all the lyrics, see that they sit, uh, that they fit, and that everything is all right. If they are so far so good, you can continue. So, uh, are we done yet? No, of course not, because Ed is still singing, so it's not technically a karaoke track yet. So, what's the next step? Well, well, the next step would for, for me would to be to use the stems feature. So, how do I do that in this situation? Well, first I, I find the place where I probably usually would want to start this track. So, I I probably want to be on the one here, right? So, I set a hot cue here. 
that sounds nice. So that's why I'm going to start the track. Um, but I also set a second hot cue just temporarily here. Uh, and then I go into the PUI editor. And just remove this a little, for a little bit. And then go into the PUI editor here. So why, why do I want to do that? Well, I want to convert this cue point to something else. So what I want to do is I want to say, well, this is actually remove vocals. And that's not a hot cue. That's an action that I need to do. So I also want to market some, something else. I'll market marker only. And maybe give it another color, like white. So now you can see over here that it says remove vocals at the exact same time as the Q1. Now the only thing is missing to, is adding an actual script. And if you don't remember the script or need a bit of help, you can do that over here. Uh, but I'm going to use mute stem like that. And I know it's vocal. So now this will run at the start of the track as long as I remember to start the track at the first cue point. So that's basically it. So now if I move this back in here and I play the track from the cue point, I'm just going to switch this to stems so that you can actually see it uh, changing. I can find it. Here it is. So now when I play this, it should remove the vocals automatically so that it's eff effectively a, a karaoke track because you also have the lyrics in front of you. So let me try to click play and see what happens. So it removed the vocals. And now when we get to the lyrics, and it's not singing anymore. So now instead of going, you will be singing, or I will be singing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not do that in this video just to save everybody's ears. That's basically how it works. Like I said, this is not going to be perfect, and you definitely want to go through the result before using it, but it may be good enough to create a karaoke track from a regular audio track if you're in a pins. <laughs>